Hello everyone, this is Nyessa, and welcome to Let's Play Skyrim, a Bard Song. This is, I believe, the third episode of our series, and I just want to do a quick mod update. Now, if you watched my separate mod configuration video, you probably saw the silly mistake that I made with making a matter of time compatible with Immersive HUD. Initially, I said that to do that, you had to set both of them to toggle with the hotkey X. But as you see, I've changed that. I was completely wrong about that. Um, in order to make them work together, you want to have Immersive HUD toggling with the key X, but you want a matter of time to be always on. Otherwise, you get this weird flickering that's completely useless. Uh, the other change that I want to talk about is that I installed realistic needs. Now I have not changed the settings very much from the original, except to add message notification, but we'll see if I need to change that further as we go along. We'll see if these rates work for the way that I'm playing, and we'll change anything as necessary. I actually did change one hotkey, but not for realistic needs and diseases. I changed the hotkey for horse follow in Convenient Horses because I originally had that set to B, but that conflicts with drinking from the stream. So I changed the Convenient Horses hotkey to V, as in Victor, instead. Um, I'm not going to go over these settings in detail because I'm sticking pretty much to the default, but I'll let you take a look at these. I don't want to use food spoilage. That would be a bit too tedious to deal with, I think. And we'll continue with the story from here. Well, good morning, Skyrim. Such a lovely day. Lovely weather to be beginning our day. It was good to sleep in a real bed for the first time in a while, but I can't say that I actually slept terribly well. Bad dreams. Not so much about that dragon but about the storm cloaks that I met in the keep. You know, I have very few qualms about taking care of a bandit or highwayman if I have to. I mean, I first killed my first bandit when I was 12 years old, which is a story that my mother loves to tell. There was this group of bandits that were raiding the village and the farms and they asked my mother to lead the defense of the village because of her background as a legionnaire. She had me by her side the entire time. It was quite an education. So while I don't like having to kill anyone, I'm not going to fret over bandits. These storm cloaks, though, I have no fight with them. And I keep seeing their faces in my mind. I know it was a matter of survival, but I just can't get it out of my head. Well, I'm gonna have to head to right, White Run soon. And before I do that, I'm gonna have to offload some of this gear that I picked up. So let's talk to Alvor. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. Of course. Um, uh, what have you got for sale? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Maybe I'll have something I can use. Though, I'm more concerned at the moment with getting rid of things. Let's see. I don't want to walk into the palace up in Whiterun wearing Imperial armor when I'm clearly not a legionnaire myself. So I'm just gonna get rid of that armor. 
I'll hold on to that shield and a few of the weapons. And I need to get rid of all of these. I'll hold on to pelts. Pelts are going to be important. Um, I may have a few supplies that I need to make before we head down time. to Riverwood. I mean, sorry, to White Run. I also gonna speak with a trader here. There are a few more things that I can offload before we go. Well, one of us has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> a customer. Sorry you had to hear that. Oh, don't mind me. Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Uh, it seemed like you and your assistant there were having a bit of an argument. Did something happen? Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break-in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. That's strange. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Maybe not so strange, actually. Um, yeah, I'm not going to help. Uh, I'm not going to offer to help get that claw back. I'm no adventurer or mercenary. I better get back to cleaning the store. What a mess. The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. So what have you got for sale? Besides that dragon claw that isn't here, obviously. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Let's see. Well, first let's see what I can get rid of. Um, I want to get rid of these capes. Though I hope he'll have one that I can buy that isn't connected to one side or the other in this war. And these, I'm not going to get any use out of. So I'll get rid of those. Restore Magicka. I don't need magic potions. Food I'm going to keep. This is more than I need at the moment, but it's better to be overprepared than underprepared. And I was planning to sell these ingredients, but I think I'm going to hold on to them at least for a little while. Uh, I'm no alchemist really, I can mix up a couple of potions, but it may be better for me to mix some of my own than to buy them. We'll just have to see how that goes. Keeping the books, except for that one. I'm gonna have to give these a read. Especially the whole to Skyrim, since I'm planning on traveling to each of them in turn. Maybe it'll give me some extra information that I can use. These I'll hold on to for now. Oh, thank you very much, Lucan. I'll make sure to come back here if I'm ever in the neighborhood again. Damn thieves. As if things weren't bad enough. Oh. I forgot I was going to look for a cloak. Or at least a hood. Sorry, friend. I need to My see your wares Camilla again. I will be happy to help you. Oh, she's your sister. Okay. So, what have you got? Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Let's see. So these are what I sold him. A hood. Ooh. That's expensive. At least with what I have right now. I could have probably afforded it if the Imperials hadn't confiscated everything that I owned. Hmm. 
Well, maybe with those pelts that I collected, next time. I can make enough leather to um, craft a hood m myself. up. I hope you don't mind if I use your tanning rack. Let's see what's available. I'll make some pouches later. I don't have that much to carry with me at the moment, so I don't really need those now. Oh, a water skin. I don't have the materials for that at the moment. Hmm. Take what you need, my friend. Within reason, of course. Yeah, I can't really make anything useful at the moment. Four wolf pelts. Or deer hides. Firewood. I could make a tent if I put some work into it, but I don't really need one yet. So let's head out. We're just gonna have to get a little bit wet today. So I think they said north, which it's a little bit hard to tell in this weather, but if I remember correctly from yesterday, it should be that direction. I'm already soaked. See if I can get in a good shot before they rush me. Nice. Oh, there's another one. Sword. a rabbit. Looks like it's still in good enough shape that I can salvage some meat from it. Alright, let's continue. So I need to think about what I'm going to do in Whiterun. This is actually a good opportunity for me. I was planning to get into the Jarl's good graces gradually by Applying my trade of the bard. I was going to start by. Oh, that must be Dragon's Reach up there at the top. If that's Whiterun, I can't imagine it would be any other city. Um, so, yes, I was planning on applying my trade as a bard, getting to know some of the people in Whiterun, and eventually offering to play for the Jarl. 
this way I could scope out the political situation here, find out what people are feeling, both the common people and the court, about this war. That's the main thing that my mother wants me to find out while I'm here. So what do people think about the war? How divided is everyone, really? Do most people fall on one side or the other, or is it evenly divided? And more importantly, who falls on which side? So having this message to give to the girl will actually get me into his good graces earlier than I was expecting if I play things right. Maybe I won't have to stay in Skyrim as long as I originally planned. I can get home sooner. Hello there? Well, we're getting close already. Haunting Brew Meadery. I'm gonna have to keep this place in mind for later. You know, I never did get that drink last night. Maybe that's a good thing, come to think of it, but still. Perhaps I'll get that drink after I talk to the Jarl instead. What? What's that? Is that a giant? I'll tear you to pieces. Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. Um, out of character for a second, I seem to be having a little bit of trouble with my mouse. I was hitting that mouse button as hard as I could, but nothing was happening. So I'm probably going to have to vow after this conversation and take care of that. But let's talk to Ayala first. I can use the keyboard to talk to her. Well, sorry, but I tried my best. I'm not exactly a fighter. I'm not even sure what I was doing running in there like that. Huh. Another milk drinker crying about his effort. Glory only awaits those who triumph. And as companions, our glory must always be hard fought. What do I care about glory? But wait. You said that you're companions? As in the companions? An outsider, eh? Never heard of the companions? No, glory I've heard of you. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. I've heard all sorts of stories. Well, I'm not looking to join the companions of all things, but if you don't mind, maybe I'll come up for a visit. I'm sure I could learn some really interesting new stories from you. Mm-hmm. Wow. A real giant. I'm not sure what to be more impressed by, that I just met some of the legendary companions, or that I came that close to a real giant. We didn't go get either companions or giants down in Cyrodiil. Whew. Or dragons, for that matter. Well. Looks like... We're here at Whiterun. A carriage driver. Now these are good people to talk to. They usually know a great deal about what's going on in the places that they travel between. Hello there, friend. Uh, not at the moment, but I may take you up on that later. I was just wondering, what do you know about Whiterun? Where do you want to go? No, that's not what I said. All right, then. I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Yeah, mouse. Well, I know the companions make their home here. 
The Mead Hall, your Vasker, is the oldest building in the city. Oh, I met some of them. There's a nasty feud between two families called the Grey Mains and the Battleborns. You want to be careful there. The rest you can find out by asking the townsfolk. Start with the barkeep at the Bannered Mare or the Castle Steward. Oh, thank you. That was some useful information. Mm hmm. Hmm. Grey Mains and Battleborns. Family feuds are never a good thing. By Ismir, it's true. A jester, funny suit and all. Just north by the Loria's farm. Fool had a coffin and a cart with a broken wheel. I'd like to see him laugh his way out of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, sounds like you've had quite the journey, Uthka. But you were gone longer than usual. I got to thinking maybe you weren't coming back. You sound like my mom. Figured I was lying dead in a field somewhere, is that it? <laughs> thought it's like the opposite of my mother. War brewing, talk of a riot in Helgen, have now jesters. Skyrim's gone mad, girl. Need to be careful out there. Careful, huh? Thanks, Skullbar. I'll remember that. <laughs> Well, seems like there are already some interesting people to talk to. She looks like an adventurer or a mercenary or something like that. So she might know something interesting about the things that are going on around here. But right now I have other things to take care of, so... If I run into her again, I'll talk to her then. I'm glad the weather has cleared up a bit. Still a bit damp, but at least I'm not going to go talk to the Jarl when I'm dripping. Excuse Come me. Come to chat with an old woman. Hmm? Do your good deed for the day. Oh, halt! City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Oh, I'm on official business. If the city's closed from the dragons, well, then the Jarl's going to want to hear from me, because I have news from Helgen about the attack there. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. Fair enough. 